I believe that Solana could potentially do a 50x during the next bull run. And even though that isn't financial advice, let me explain several reasons why I think so. And reason number one is because I believe that Solana is an amazing layer one blockchain. You know, first of all, Solana is incredibly fast. In fact, right, Solana is able to process around 3,800 transactions per second, which I think is absolutely insane. You know, Solana is incredibly quick, but it doesn't end there because Solana is also highly scalable as well. As of right now, Solana has already been able to facilitate over 178 million transactions, while at the same time keeping transaction costs incredibly low. You know, in fact, Solana has an average cost per transaction of $0.00025, which is absolutely mind-blowing in my opinion. You know, Solana has one of the lowest transaction costs when compared to a number of other Layer 1 blockchains out there. And also, let's not forget, Solana is very environmentally friendly. In fact, Solana is so environmentally friendly to the point that its net carbon impact is sitting at 0%. I mean, that's very shocking right there. Solana is very sustainable in my opinion. You know, Solana is so energy efficient to the point that running the entire Solana network for just one hour uses less energy than a single Bitcoin transaction. I mean, that's very shocking right there. I mean, again, right, running the entire Solana network for just one hour requires the same amount of energy as a single Bitcoin transaction. I mean, insane. You know, in terms of fundamentals, Solana is just really up there in my opinion. However, something that I also find very impressive is the fact that Solana has a very amazing list of partnerships. For example, Solana is partnered up with Circle, and Circle, by the way, is the issuer for the stablecoin, otherwise known as USDC. So I think that right there is a very big deal. Solana is also partnered up with Google, which I think is very fantastic. And last but not least, Solana is also partnered up with Meta Platforms otherwise known as previously as Facebook Incorporated. You know, when it comes to Solana's partnerships, in my opinion, it is second to none. I mean, it's really up there, and I think it is just a step above the rest of the competition. So overall, when I consider just how incredible Solana is, I really do believe that Solana is such a no-brainer pick for me, and I think that during the next bull run, it's going to have no issues reaching high prices. I truly do believe that. And now, with that being said, the second reason why I believe Solana will at least do a 50x during the next bull run is because Solana has a very amazing staking ratio you know currently solana has a staking ratio of around 75 percent and you know some of the solana haters out there they may think oh you know 75 percent why is that even impressive but in actuality it's actually something to behold because when you think about the staking ratio of around 75 percent you know that figure right there is actually higher than the staking ratio of cardano avalanche polka dot phantom near and polygon you know solana it may not be the biggest layer one blockchain out there but in my opinion, in terms of staking ratio, it's actually one of the best. And reason number three is because I believe that Solana is focused on all the right industries. You know, Solana moving forward is heavily focused on NFTs, DeFi, and gaming. And I think that right there is a very genius move because I do believe that NFTs, DeFi, and gaming have such incredible potential. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If we take a look at this right here, we will see that by 2030, the NFT market is predicted to reach a market size of up to $3.5 trillion. And yeah, you heard that right, that's trillion with a T. I mean, that's very shocking right there. The NFT market has such amazing potential. And now, with that being said, I now wanna talk about DeFi. If we take a look at this, we will see that the DeFi market is predicted to be worth over $398 billion by 2031, exhibiting a compound annual growth rate of 45.16%. And I think that right there is a very staggering statistic. You know, the DeFi industry is no joke, and I think it has such unbelievable potential. And also, when it comes to gaming, if we take a look at this, we will see that by 2028, the global blockchain gaming market size is expected to reach $117.5 billion dollars which is, again, right, very mind-blowing. So with all that being said, I think it's fair to assume that Solana is focused on all the right industries. I believe that moving forward, crypto projects that are focused on DeFi, NFTs, and gaming, much like Solana, will prosper in such a fantastic way. So overall, when I consider Solana's a fundamentals, when I consider its ecosystem, when I consider its use case, and when I consider what industries it is focused on and just how much potential those industries have, and last but not least, also when I consider its partnerships, you know, when I take all of that into account, I truly do believe that Solana during the next bull run will have no issues doing a 50x in terms of price increase. And now that I said that, some people, they may think, oh, a 50x for Solana from this point 
oh, that's too unrealistic. But in my opinion, I don't think it's unrealistic because if we think about it, right, Solana from this point right now, with its current circulating supply, if it were to do a 50x from here, it would only have a market cap of around $396 billion. And $396 billion, that may seem like a lot, but in actuality, $396 billion in terms of market cap is still roughly around $162 billion less than Ethereum's all-time high market cap in 2021. And now, some people may argue, hey, you know, Ethereum reached a high market cap, but what makes you think that Solana can even come close to that? And the reason why I think so is because when I take a look at Solana, in my opinion, it is fundamentally better than Ethereum. I mean, just think about this, right? When it comes to Ethereum, it's Ethereum 2.0. Yes, that is true. It's proof of stake. Yes, that's true. But in reality, Ethereum still isn't scalable. Even with Ethereum 2.0, Ethereum still cannot fix its scalability issues. And also when it comes to Ethereum, it has very high transaction fees in my opinion. I think the gas fees are completely ridiculous. You know, I feel like Ethereum is a very archaic layer one blockchain. You know, it's not scalable, transaction fees are just through the roof. I just think that Ethereum really isn't that good. And now of course, right, Ethereum, it has more fans than Solana, it has a bigger ecosystem. But when we take a look at the fundamentals, solely just from a fundamental standpoint of view, I think Solana just completely blows through Ethereum. So again, right, Solana reaching around $396 billion in terms of market cap, I don't think is unrealistic. You know, we have seen a layer one blockchain in the case of Ethereum that in my opinion has way less fundamentals than Solana actually reach a market cap of that and way beyond in the past. So I think that Solana doing a 50X from here is not unrealistic. And even though this video is not meant as a invitation to buy, sell, or trade cryptos, you know, that's not the case whatsoever. But even despite that, I am very excited for the future of Solana. And I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people during the next bull run. And if you wanna check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it.